a tune. How are you all doing today? Got the uh, washing to do, so I better get into it. So we have standard dryer. It's going to be doing a load today, and I'm going to run it directly off my batteries. Got our inverter, grow what? I've only got one at the moment, but I'm thinking later on if I can afford it, which will probably be another year, so or less, um, I'll buy another one. Now, if I haven't shown you yet, you've got to, you can use the up and downs to check what the vo voltage of the battery is. So you can press that. So I've put out 6.6 kilowatt hours from the solar array on the roof so far and it's only putting out 0.2 to 0.3 of an amp off the solar array so that at 334 so we're probably looking around about 65 watts which isn't much but it's winter here we've got overcast um, cloud which is everywhere and it's pretty cold so I'm pretty impressed with that it is charging off the solar at the moment and if I look at my if I turn the dryer off it is using it's an LG dryer and it is using two kilo, kilowatts per hour two so we had it up the house and we were getting big, big bills. So I brought it down here. There is other stuff I want to bring down to the shed because the shed's off grid um, and try and see what they're all kind of rating out at so that we can work out how to reduce our, our um, cost. we got um, so we've got our dates and stuff we've set that all up properly now you can press the right hand return button and that'll put you into the programming mode so I've got it on solar first it's at uh, 60 amp charging and APL not 100 sure what that is I have to look it up again and still use it and I'm on user defined as but but there's a lot of stuff 230 volts and 50 Hertz so this one here is if that's set lower it's 20 amps it uh, goes off the first one the 60 amp setting unless you've got it set up a certain way the buzzer is annoying I might have to turn that off. I've enabled bypass if we've got a short. So what do we got? So it's full at 56.4. It floats at 53.6, which is reasonable. I don't want it to go any higher than that at the moment. So, and it discharges at 50, at 44. It's the cutoff. So that's three volts per cell. Um, but I'm going to change that to 45 because A, I don't want it to get that low. And that's what I wanted to do today. And then you can do a dressing. The addressing here is for if you've got more than one grow watt and you're connecting it up. Now, I don't suggest these grow watts to anyone that wants to run them outside. 
We've got all these holes in the sides of them. And to tell the truth, there's about three cir communication circuit boards here connecting to that, plus ribbon cables running in here. And there's a big slot, square slot out of the, the top unit. And there's also holes up the top to bring air in and blow it out from the fans down the bottom. So this is definitely an in, in set inside your house jobby. Uh, if you get the other ones like for grid tide, they're totally sealed and they put up a lot more current. Now I haven't taken this off yet, which I should. Oh yeah. Now that, that is cool. That is really cool. And this bit here, oh yeah. That's beautiful. Need to wipe that down. We'll get a wipe and wipe that down later. So already getting a bit of dust at the top. Keep a wipe on it, I suppose. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking, and if you want to get back, you just press the escape key and you're back. All right, so what I'm thinking of, so that's actually giving me 100 sometimes. So that's actually better than what I thought it was getting. So it's actually improving. There must be, there's a little bit of sunshine out there, but a lot of... So here's my weather at the moment. Very cloudy, but there is little choppy bits of sun coming out. Uh, the trees don't put much shade onto the roof at this time of day, so it's pretty good. Yeah, and that's uh, winter in Australia. One good thing about the uh, dryer, it does bring in a bit of wet moisture as well in here, which I don't like on this, so I've opened the door. But when it's cold here, which today it's about 10, 12 degrees, so yeah, cold, wintry Australia, and in the mornings it's like two. Um, yeah, I'm down south. We do get minuses here, but at the moment we're not. We're getting a lot of rain, and that's good too because I picked up a tank yesterday, which is awesome. I paid my normal rate for a tank, uh, 2,000 litre or 1,000 litre tank, 50 bucks. Great, great opportunity there. Um, anyway, that's a separate topic. Uh, the only thing I've got to do is I've got to do the communication bus on the grow wipe. I haven't worked that out yet. I need to do it um, because I want to hook it into my server, which is just to the left here, because I've virtualized that server. It's not using much power, but it's got a couple of Xenons in it and it should be able to rock and roll. Um, some good software to see what's happening with this. Uh, what do you guys all think? Uh, hope you're all doing great. We're going to keep moving along with it. All right, catch you on the next one.